Hey guys, so last night I was out with some friends and we got to talking about the benefits of an alkaline diet, specifically in reference to certain diseases like cancer and other diseases that can't grow in an alkaline environment. And it reminded me of this video that I referenced to them about a girl who did a test on bottles of water she had access to that were common in her area. And she did a test to see what their pH levels fared for each bottle. And it was really informative, so I sent, I looked it up, sent it on to my friends. But it got me thinking about the fact that because it was made in Florida, how relevant it was to us here in Toronto, Canada and the GTA, Greater Toronto Area. So with, I decided to go out today and buy 21 of the most popular bottles of water at our local grocery stores and do a test as well as I got the pH kits. First I tried the litmus paper that didn't work out so well and then I got the drops. And I did the test, the pH test, to see how our local bottles of water fare. So let's check it out. So we have a change of plans. Originally I started with the litmus paper test, but they really didn't pan out very good. So we have switched to the drops. You can get them at Healthy Planet. So for this set, the measurement is actually on the box. So when we drop it into the water, we'll put the box up. It's five drops per little cup that I set out. So we'll start with Icelandic and glacier water and we'll move along. So let's do that. We'll do five drops. One, two, three, four. I think we had six actually, five. Oh, it's going quite green. That's a good sign. I would say that it's somewhere. Let's move. So I would say Icelandic is an eight. Next up, we'll do Evian. So one, two, three, four, five. Oops, six also. So between a seven and an eight on the eight side of things. Next up, we're gonna do five drops in simple drop. It's a new one, two, three, four, five. Uh, looks a little greener. I would say that's also an eight. So, so far we're in good standing. They're all looking pretty good. Perrier, let's try Perrier. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, Perrier. I wonder if that's, it's our first carbonated. So I wonder if that has to do with the carbonation, but as you can see, the Perrier, let's move it out from behind the green bottle so it doesn't accent it more. Perrier is definitely a six. So Perrier is more acidic for sure than the rest. Maybe even a five, six, but definitely more acidic. All right, now we'll move on to Smart Water. This is a popular choice. Do five drops of that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, smart water is also acidic. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to lift the blue behind it. Yeah, it's uh, actually it's kind of, I would say seven. That's six to seven, almost neutral. 7.36 is actually neutral, so it's still on the acidic side of things. Next up, Fiji water. Fiji, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's positive. Sorry guys, I had it away from the thing, but it's quite positive. It's got the, let's lift it up so that we don't have anything influencing the back. That's definitely on the eight. So it is on the alkalide side of things. So Fiji, extra cost. Apparently it's worth the money. Okay, Voss, another expensive or pricier water. So let's do five drops for Voss. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I can already see that it's on the yellow side of things. A Little bit of green tinge, but definitely not going to be I would say it's a seven six to seven still below that 7.36 it's definitely not green green 
So on the acidic side of things. Aquafina, another popular brand. Let's see how Aquafina does. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's very yellow. That's not even greeny yellow. Uh oh. Let's wipe the counter. Hold on, putting on pause to wipe the counter. Okay. The spot is wiped up. Let's compare. Definitely on the alkaline side of things, this water is really. Okay, so let's compare. This is definitely on the alkaline side of things. It's really good. It's quite a bright blue, so I'd even say it's between eight and nine. It doesn't have any green hues at all. Okay, next up, tap water. Now, if you guys want to know more about different tap waters in the greater Toronto area, I'm happy to do another one. Let me know in the comments on just different tap waters in the GTA. All right, so this is Pickering. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I'm happy to report <laughs> that we're looking like it's neutral. Even possibly, mm, I would say neutral, a little bit on the alkaline, but way to go city of Pickering. You've nailed that one. We are in the alkaline side of things, so that's good. All right, next up we have Arto Life Water. So let's try, it's got a pretty bottle, but is it worth the money? One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's green, so I would say it might be right on a seven, so up to your discretion. It could be right on neutral. Okay, next up is our second carbonated water. It's the Montelier, I guess. Um, so let's see how that one is. See, we know that the Perrier was definitely on the more acidic side. So let's see if the Montelier is too. One, two, three, four, five. Well, yeah, it definitely is. I'm actually interested to see if we were to add carbonation, if that has any bearing whatsoever on these drinks. But as you can see, it definitely is like a five, six. So that's not so good. Okay, Esca. Esca is one I like to buy. So hopefully one, two, three, four, five. It's on sale at Metro right now for 24 for 2.99, which is a steal for this brand. And I'm happy to see that it came out very blue, actually. Let's move it from behind the blue so there's no bias. Yeah, that's an eight, eight and a half even. All right, yay, Esca. Okay, so next up we have the PC Water, which is your presence choice brand, which you'll find at your No Frills, Independent, and Loblaws. So let's try them. It's a popular brand again. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. So it's also looking like it's probably an eight. So that's good news. Also alkaline for all you Loblaws shoppers out there. Okay, next up we have Selection. This is Metro's brand of water. You shop at your Metro's. One, two, three, four, five. Also happy to see that it is also quite alkaline. They all seem to be in the same family actually, of blues. So it's also your eight. Okay, so now we have Desani, which is Coca-Cola's bottled water. We already did Aquafina, competitor Pepsi's water, which we saw was acidic. Let's see how Coke does with their water. One, two, three, four, five. Well, Coke and Pepsi are competitors and they stay competitive with their alkaline and acid levels. All right, so definitely we got the five, six going on here. That's an acidic water. It's act they're both actually not my favorite waters, so we'll continue on with that. Next up, Walmart's water, great value. Popular brand, usually really cheap. 
One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually quite surprised. Way to go, Walmart. Bang for buck. This is like your best value. So that's uh, maybe even a nine. Some of those blues are actually more on the nine side. Interesting. Same with the Esca and the PC. All very high. All right, my favorite I like to buy, definitely more expensive, Flow. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Wow, it looks like PC, I mean, sorry, Walmart's water is even bluer than Flow, which has an advertisement right on the bottle of a pH of 8.1. So there you go. I mean, they're not lying. But you can also go to Walmart and get something of equal alkaline level for a fraction of the cost. Nestle Pure Life, that's a hugely popular brand. It's everywhere. Let's see how they fare. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's green. It's not acidic at least. Oh, no, it's turning the blue. Let's see. So we're definitely on the alkaline side with Nestle Pure Life. That's awesome. Costco, but now we have Rexall. This is Rexall's brand, Nosh & Co, spring water. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they're also on the alkaline side of things. All right, so we have, okay, last but not least, we have Kirkland, which is Costco's brand. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so it's turning kind of a greeny blue. I think that also would fare on the alkaline. Yeah, it's definitely above the 7.36 for the eight side of things. So when all is said and done, Costco, pretty good. Rexall, very good. Nestle, Flo, and Walmart, all very good. Dasani, not so great, acidic. Metro and Loblaws, they're both on the alkaline side of things, as is Esca. Montelier, not so much. The Arto Life Water, I'd say, is right on the neutral mark. Pickering Tap Water, good for you. The Aquapana. Good, alkaline, Aquafina, Pepsi's, acidic, Voss is neutral, Fiji, alkaline, yay, smart water, kind of neutral, maybe on the acidic side, periacidic, simple drop, Evian, and Icelandic, or Icelandic, Icelandic, all on the alkaline side. Okay, guys, so... Our little experiment is done. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, if you want a series on the different tap waters in the greater Toronto area, I can do one on that. And I can also do one on the different pH levels from your drive through bottled water, like your Starbucks, McDonald's, Tim Hortons, all their name Rising. brands. So again, are good choices if you're looking on it from an alkaline perspective. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did.